Hey, what's up guys? It's Joe and today we're going to be taking a look at another case. This is my root case for the iPhone 6 4.7 inch. Now, this is a little bit different than cases I usually tend to review. Uh, this is going to be a full protection case for your phone. Uh, that means it's going to cover the front, the back, the top, the sides. Uh, there's going to be some areas where it's going to actually cover up your uh, your charging port at the bottom, your headphone jack at the bottom, things like that. So it's more overall protection versus just being a, a slim case that covers up, you know, mainly for cosmetic blemishes or things like that. Uh, that's not really going to uh, help you if you have any kind of major falls or, or not. Um, this should add a little bit more protection and we're going to see if it adds much bulk or what the trade-offs are for actually going with a case like this. So let's go ahead and get this packaging here open. There's some plastic first. And then we have our box. So around the box we have root case snug and safe at the top. Uh, we've got some stuff here, a little feather. It says flex tough. Uh, complete coverage as I stated. It's going to be complete coverage there for iPhone 6. And then around the back, we've got some things. This says thin, light, impact protection, screen protection, uh, front, back, and side coverage, scratch resistant inside and out, flexible TPU for impact protection, uh, tough PC for stability, and screen protection is 5H hardness. So let's get into this box here. Oh, it's one of these little sticker things there. Okay, so we've got the box open here. And we've got the case out. So I already kind of like this. It's got a it's got a hard plastic feel to it all the way around. And there's a lot of plastic covering this right now to keep everything intact. And this front, uh, the back is a hard plastic right here. And the front is a screen protector material similar to what you would find in a in an OtterBox case. So like I said, this is going to have some cover-ups for your ports here. So there's your uh, headphone jack. And here's your lightning port. And then it actually, I don't know if you can tell, but uh, it's all plastic around there with just some holes for your speaker grill. So I'm going to go off camera and see how to open this up. And once I figure it out, I'll, I'll show you guys how to do it. Okay, so me not being a big, big fan of instructions, I'm not even sure if it really came with any, but it didn't take me very long to figure out that I brought it around. And you can see that this piece here is just, uh, it's just like a, almost like an inverse case. Normally cases like this, if you looked at this, you would think that your phone would go in like this, but it actually goes in like this. So, okay, let's go ahead and install it. And first, really quick, uh, you can see this little tape right here over the speaker grill. So, um, I guess that keeps anything from getting in. Now, I do have a tempered glass screen protector on my phone, so I don't know how that will affect it. So I won't really comment too much on the screen protecting abilities of the front of this here or the fit of that because I'm sure if I didn't have this on here, if there are any issues with the fit, um, it's probably due to that. So that's really easy to snap on there. And then I'm assuming you just kind of get these edges, slip them on there. Okay, so after a little bit of trying, I actually got this back in. What I ended up doing was I ended up coming in kind of sideways and getting one of the lips underneath. Uh, it's really not that hard to get on. Uh, it just takes maybe, you know, three or five minutes to kind of get it in there and figure out exactly what you have to do to get it in there. So overall, uh, I really like the feel in the hand. It doesn't add a lot of bulk, so that's a good thing for me. Uh, it does offer all the way around protection. The only thing that is open right here is the ringer mute switch right there. The volume rocker keys are covered up. They're a little bit hard to press and you can hear the case actually click whenever I'm hitting these. So it's a little bit creaky, a little bit noisy, I guess. 
Um, like I stated before, we have our um, dust covers here. And here's another one for your uh, lighting port. And then this is all the way covered over your speaker grill except for these little holes here. Um, on the other side, we have Roo case. Let's see if my camera's going to focus on that. Roo case right there. This is your power button, which is also just a little bit stiff. Nothing on the top. Okay, so around the front, uh, we've got the screen protector here. It does seem like it's a little bit of a fingerprint magnet, but that's okay. We've got our front-facing camera cut out. We have our speaker grill that's covered up with a little mesh. We've got our appropriate sensors here. Uh, your ambient light sensors and things like that. We have our touch ID And let's go ahead and see if we can get that to work that there we go has nothing to do with case It's just the fact that sometimes this thing gets a little muddled up with fingerprints uh, Our touch sensitivity even with this screen protector and another screen protector underneath is awesome It doesn't have anything um, You know it doesn't cover up the screen to where you're not going to see it very well. It keeps a lot of the screen integrity there. So that's awesome. And that's really about it for that. So yeah, I mean, definitely, I would definitely recommend this case for somebody who's looking for a little bit more protection than, than just something like a case like this speaking case here, which is just a little bumper around and it leaves the front open does have the cutouts on the bottom there uh, or this rinky case here that actually is pretty similar to the speaking case uh, they actually if these cases got together and had a baby and added a screen protector you'd pretty much have uh, this case here so that's kind of funny but anyways guys if you like this video go ahead and hit that thumbs up down below uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future videos and as always we'll see you next time